So some of my YouTube viewers might not be uh, familiar with these items. Uh, these things are called books. And I encourage you to get some of these. So sometimes I get comments about people wanting to learn more on a particular subject or just more in general in elect electrical engineering, electronics. Um, and sometimes I can point them to a video. Um, there are a lot of great YouTubers out there, Dave's channel, uh, Alan's channel and stuff. So um, sometimes it's nice to watch videos, but you know, these things have a lot of information in them and you really should, really should get at least one of them. And I'm gonna show you which one to buy. Um, it's gonna be one of these or one of these. Um, I recommend you buy both and I'll talk about that. And then as a bonus, uh, we'll talk about these um, that you might want to get. But definitely, I want you to buy one of these two books, and um, let, me, let me show you those. All right, this is the Bible. This has all of electronics in it. If you understand this book, you're a superstar. Um, it's got almost every little thing you need to know about electronics. It's called The Art of Electronics by uh, Paul Horowitz and Winfield Hill. Um, and it is great. It's, it's not um, one of those university books that tries to teach you all about, you know, the semiconductor properties of blah, 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 blah. No, 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 this is like, I want to be able to grab things and make circuits. I want to know how the circuits work. I don't care about the things themselves. I want to do things with circuits. And um, there's a ton of theory in here, but there's also a ton of actual circuits and, and how you would actually do things and why you would do them that way. Or the parts themselves, which parts do you choose? That one or this one? Which one's better for this particular application? Um, this, is just, this is just a wonderful book. Now, this is not a cheap book and not everybody's gonna be able to afford this book. So I'm gonna give you a couple options. Um, it's in its third edition right now. So if you buy a third edition, it's gonna be expensive, but uh, there is a second edition, okay? So this is the, this is the second edition. And uh, so this one might be cheaper, okay? They're all called Horowitz and Hill Art of, Art, of, Art of Electronics, okay? So this is the second edition. So you might be able to find a used copy of this or first edition, same thing, okay? They all have the same information. They get updated a little bit, and actually some things get deleted, so there's actually some chapters in the old books that are nice to have around, because they're not in the new books. Um, so anyway, Horowitz and Hill, Art of Electronics, volume one, I mean, uh, edition one, edition two, or edition three. Doesn't matter which one you get, get one. Get the one you can afford, um, and get one. I mean, <laughs> please get one, okay? So the other book to get, and this one's gonna be a whole lot cheaper and very good. Okay, this is the other book you wanna get, all right? Now, if you can't afford Horowitz and Hill, you will be able to afford this book. Now, this book comes out every year. It's the ARRL, uh, American Radio Relay League, a uh, handbook for radio communications. And every year it comes out. So this is the 2008, 2015, 2013, 2006. Okay, I don't care what year you get because the way this book is laid out is the very first chapters is all about electronics. How do sine waves work? How do capacitors work? What is a resonant circuit? How do oscillators work? How do op amps work? How to do things? How do you read the little color codes on components? Uh, how connectors work? Uh, how you make things? How you actually solder things together? What type of breadboards do you use, okay? So half of this book is just basic beginning, and not just beginning, but you know, basic electrical engineering, right? So half of this book is that. The other half of the book are projects, okay? And these are ham radio projects. So if you're not into ham radio, then just rip the book in half and throw the rest away. It um, doesn't really matter. Although you can find some interesting things, maybe some ideas here, like power supplies. It doesn't have to be a ham radio power supply. Power supplies a power supply, right? So if you want to know about Ripple, what size capacitor to use, things like that, you know. Here you go, it's in there, right? So you can get these for a couple bucks used, 
right? They're expensive new. They're what, $45? New for that one. What's a newer one? Here's a 2015. How much did they say this was supposed to cost? I don't remember. Anyway, they're uh, they're expensive if you buy them brand new. But the cool thing about ham radio nuts, I used to be one, <laughs> is they buy this one every year religiously. And so people are always buying these things. And then what do I do with all those old ones? They get rid of them. They don't, you know, they're big. They, they don't fit on the shelf any longer, right? You have too many of them. So you can get them for like two bucks. Um, and that's what I do. So I've never bought a new one of these in my life. Well, maybe I did way back when, but I don't think I've ever bought a new one of these new. Just buy them used and you can get them, like I said, for dirt cheap. And do, do I care if you buy the 2006 or the 2008 or the 2015 or the 2020? I don't care. They're all the same. So buy one, okay? So if, if, if you can only buy one book and you have a limited budget, get one of these, right? And like this is an X, uh, uh, library book. So check it out of the library. That's free, right? Um, so get one of these, get a Horowitzen Hill. Between those two books, you, you have the world at your feet. So um, those are the two things to buy. And then let's go into the bonus round. Now, this is just kind of my personal spin on things. I just like these books. Um, have I really ever used them? Uh, I can't really say that. But have I gotten ideas from them? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so what are these books, okay? So this is what, is, what exactly it says it is. The Master Handbook of 1001 More Practical Electronic Circuits, because there are other of these different volumes. And what is it? Every single page is one or more schematics, and that's all this book is. It's schematic after schematic after circuit after circuit after circuit after schematic after circuit. A thousand and one, literally a thousand and one circuits. So if you can't find an idea in here, you're doing something wrong, right? And a lot of these are kind of old style. You know, new style, you can just get an Arduino and you're done, right? Microcontroller, you're just done, right? But if you want to actually use, you know, real circuit things like like op amps or, or actual, you know, inductive coils, you know, resonant circuits and stuff, right? These are your books, right? Uh, like, and sometimes it's really, really simple, right? You know, do you have uh, two phototransistors, you know, either turn it on or turn it off, right? Uh, Here's a here's a Wheatstone bridge, right? This is a photosensitive Wheatstone black. Anyway, there's a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so so there's one. I have I've had this one forever. Same thing, a thousand different schematics, right? So this one is the giant handbook of electronic circuits. Okay, here's volume. Uh, this one's volume two of the Encyclopedia of Electronic Circuits. All right. And guess what? Every single page is a schematic, right? And, and multiple schematics. So every single, so power supplies, amplifiers, differential equation, uh, amplifiers, wire tracer, uh, programmable tuning. Here's 20, hey, 20 bridge, uh, field strength meters, uh, analog circuits, blah, 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 single tongue burst generator, all kinds of stuff in here, right? That's volume two. Here's volume three. Uh, and I think this one is up to volume six or seven, believe it or not. <laughs> you can get volumes one, two, and there, there are no repeats, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and each one is a schematic. Here's Chug Chug, <laughs> dual MOSFET, uh, capacitive sensor alarm, uh, 50 watt audio power amplifier. There you go, build your own uh, stereo, uh, build a metronome, uh, fluorescent lamps, Wideband amplifiers. Okay, so everything is in these books. So I love just sitting on the couch and going through the schematics, trying to get ideas. Hey, that's a clever way to use a three terminal regulator I didn't think of, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and these can be found dirt cheap too because nobody wants them. Um, and they've been around forever. Uh, I have had this book, I think, since the 1970s. Uh, I've had it with me for a very long time when I was a kid. Um, so anyway. That's the bonus round. Go get yourself the Art of Electronics. Go get yourself the ARRL handbook. And if you want, get one of these or browse, peruse one. A lot of times they're um, uh, published by Sam's. Uh, oh, tab books. Yeah, tab books, T-A-B books. Tab books, 
uh, tab books. Uh, I think they're all tab books. Yeah, tab books. So these are all tab publications. I think TAD also has tab also has a bunch of uh, kind of beginner uh, hobbyist type uh, electronic books too. But these uh, uh, circuit books are are my recommendation.